Hey, good morning guys. This is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and today I'm driving the Model 3 and look what I got. So tell me that if there is another car manufacturer that does that as well, I would like to know. So what you see here when you are stepping the next day because my car does not have autopilot and you see on the screen autopilot recent software update includes a free 14 days trial of the last driver assistance features auto steer auto lane change traffic aware cruise control auto park and summon you will note yeah, okay, you have to watch all of that. Do you want to enable it? Not sure why I want to enable it. Enabled. So now you can be happy of having autopilot turned on and try it. And personally, I give you some experience after the driving, if that's good. I'm driving autopilot hardware one for one car and hardware two for the Model X. So let's see if there's much of a difference here. Okay, a little bit busy traffic on the highway. Driving. Ah, then it shows up blue and not white. So, as you can see here, the autopilot is on. Here is the maximum speed, here is the per minute speed. And then you see the car is in the lane, the middle of the lane. Looks actually good. And then see a light force to the steering wheel. If you don't do that, it shows up blue there. Yeah. Ah, it's not much of a difference, but it's pretty well. And here's a car next to me, as you can see here. And the uh, radar system shows it. It was showing that also before, I think. Let me go to the settings and see what's in the settings. So when you look at the settings there, as you can see, Auto steer is there, and auto lane change is activated, and summon better is not activated. Can I activate that now? Not yet. Uh, yes, there was a message coming up there. And then customize summon, those are the same features there. And uh, you know, this is the. I uh, to activate autopilot again. So the next thing is the cars difference, three cars difference, that is okay, it's the same thing. And then here is customize summoning. So standard or tight requires continuous press, that's I usually turn off, yes I know that. And auto home link, I have that off because sometimes I don't want that the door opens automatically. So bumper clearance 20 inch or 25 inch, uh, 25 feet summon. Oops, I got stopped from the truck cutting in front of me. Very good. Tight and I'm gonna update that summon to the maximum to 40 feet. Yeah, if I'm putting a force on the steering wheel, then I have to activate uh, autopilot again. So sometimes it's too sensitive when I'm. Uh, so now I got another stop here. Yeah. No, that's just okay. The regular lane change. That truck was abruptly changing the lanes, and that was caused the car to break. That's how it's supposed to be, because that's usually an indication for an accident. There's other features for summon. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay, that's it. That looks good. Hey guys, that uh, autopilot is not much of a difference as of the Model X. So, whoever needs that should apply that. And the guys who are renting my cars now, they will be happy because for the next days from September 8th on, you have.
drive autopilot in the car as well as the trial version. Just in this moment I inst I'm in stop and go and as you see there back and forth and what I also found is that if is there a way instead of going to that screen and changing the distance changing the distance differently and it shows here as well yes there is a way on your steering wheel here on the left side so you are moving to the right to close the distance to one car or to the left in order to increase the distance and you can see it here here is two cars and then here is three cars or four cars whatever you think the distance should be so that's a good thing that you can adjust the distance from the steering wheel and don't have to go to here in order on the screen and then change it on the screen by distracting your view to the screen instead of having it on the road well we will find more so basically with your right thumb you are controlling the speed more or less and the distance to the drive let's see if I can get it on here here the speed less or more and the distance between the cars in front of you that's pretty good so your hand can always be at the steering wheel there's something coming what I always wanted to know as well reset the sensors yeah I put another wheel on it and it had one wheel with the new sensor the system was required was seeing that and I can reset it now so the system automatically recognizes that there is a new tire with a new sensor there and then resets it and then set reset complete and you can click OK so total impression on autopilot uh, really nothing to complain about works really great works fine I'm waiting for the software upgrade for the next version uh, now question is I really spend the money for that and that's the question so this is a good offer and it's a great idea to make that available for people to try to test who don't have autopilot and actually the guys who are very lucky who are renting my car in the next two weeks they will have now autopilot also to try it there are some folks from Europe coming and they are getting autopilot for I think they have it for rented for two days so the Model 3 I'm actually a software guy and I'm really not willing to spend five or six thousand thousand dollar for the Model 3 on software so maybe uh, I have the idea that software needs to be more affordable if they would come down on a price uh, let's say two and a half thousand uh, maximum three thousand dollar I think a lot of people would uh, would say yes I will, we're gonna do it but for that price five thousand six thousand uh, dollar they need to have another price structure in order to charge more for the hardware uh, what is already installed and then maybe do only two and a half three thousand dollar for software so it's a nice feature if you do a lot of driving uh, highway driving uh, surface roads is the same behavior it doesn't go over five miles more than uh, surface road speed limits okay well, that was the free version of autopilot see you next time bye bye Say